Hey, welcome everybody to another morning word. Thanks for joining us this morning. For those new to this, this is where I share a couple minute video, really to share from my own personal Bible study. Why? Because I wanted to see your life go from here to here because God left us this promise. He says, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. And he told us how we do that. He says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If we can think like God, there is nothing that we can't achieve. There is no valley that we can't come through and no mountaintop that we can't reach because there is nothing that is impossible for God, my friends, which means that there is nothing that is impossible for you. So let's really get into this. Before I start, I gotta say I'm not a pastor, I'm an I don't work for the church. I'm just someone who fell in love with Jesus and saw God take my life through the valleys and take me to mountaintops and take me for more valleys and I just want God, same way God has blessed me, I just want God to bless you too. So please, if it, if it resonates, take action, then you'll see the rewards of God's wisdom. Now we're going to get into the fir- uh, the reading which is, um, the, we're going to be reading from the book of 1 Samuel which is the ninth book, ninth book of the Bible, reading from chapter 2 verse 29 and it reads this, why do you scorn my sacrifice and, and offerings that I have prescribed for my dwellings? Why do you honour your sons more than me by fattening yourself on the choice parts of every offering made by people of Israel? I'm going to call this morning's word, ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is not bliss. Now, this situation here is God is talking to Eli, who was a high priest, okay, in in this time uh, of, of the nation of Israel. Now, as the high priest, he was the leader over all the other uh, priests, uh, Levite priests at the time as well. Now, here was the thing. Some of these priests were committing adultery, were you know, sleeping around with women, stealing, lying, everything that you don't expect of a priest, they were doing. So God was incredibly upset about this. But not was he only upset with those priests, which included two of Eli's sons, he was also upset with Eli. The reason being is that Eli had almost turned an eye to some of the things that were happening, even though they were being blatantly done. Now God was like, Eli, I'm gonna hold you just as accountable for the things that are happening. So you can't play ignorant. Now Eli was hoping that if I just bury my head in the sand, it will all go away and you know everything will be good. But God's like, no. In this, I'm going to hold you accountable because you should have stood up, you should have challenged, you should have dealt with the things that you saw that were wrong. Now, we look at Eli and we can judge Eli. But the thing is, there is times in our own lives when you know you should be standing up, times when you should be saying, that is not right. In your workplace, you're hearing someone gossiping, you should be saying, do you know what? You shouldn't be doing that. You can't talk about this person. Oh, I don't agree with what you're saying. Okay, but instead you put your head in the sand and you'll bury your head in the sand. Okay, and there may be different scenarios. You may be having to deal with your finances, but you're burying your head in the sand, hoping that ignorance is bliss. But guess what? For Eli, it wasn't bliss. Okay, there was ruin for his family. There was ruin for his ministry because he he thought that ignorance was bliss, but actually ignorance led to destruction. So here's the question of the morning. Are you burying your head in the sand when you should be speaking up? Here's the lesson of the day. Do not, my friends, bury your head in the sand believing that uh, ignoring a situation that you should be speaking up about or standing up for will lead to a quiet life. Ignorance is not bliss. Let me say that again. Ignorance is not bliss. The very thing that you're ignoring will come back to haunt you. And because you didn't deal with it early, guess what? It multiplies and it snowballs and it's worse than if you had dealt with it in the beginning. So that leads us really to the action of the day. The action of the day is this. Do what you need to do today. Speak up, stand up and confront. If you have to do that today, ask God for the boldness to do it and watch your life prosper. So God bless you. As we always say with Jen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. Please subscribe to our social media outlet, our YouTube channel, so you get these videos or all 300 and plus of them Monday to Friday. But also please share this video with one person. Okay, and if you can't share the video, please share the principle. The reason I say this, if we can change the mindset of one person, we could change a community. And if we could change a community, we could change the world. So God bless you, and I'll see you soon for another morning word. God bless you.